Come. Off the mark straight away. Successful over for Romario Shepard and the West Indies. 224 for three. Fumble in the field. Shimron Hetmeyer. No! When you mentioned that last game that they played seven different West Indian fielders accounting for catches in that last game. That's the bluff. Went for the full and wider line delivery. Yeah, it's seen in the wrong that length that he bowled to Rutaraj Gakwad. He does have a slip. That's too high. Playing a miss. That's a fine stroke. Considering what transpired in the previous deliveries, Hardik Pandya is really given a response to Alzari Joseph. Boundary off the last ball of the over. 231 for three. Hardik Pandya was able to hit a boundary off Alzari Joseph's last over. And I think it's a let off. And the reason I say that, it had been such a good threatening over until that delivery. Just think. He went too full. Expect more variations. No, no, no. First ball faced by Shubman Gill. No. So very good batters will make you pay the longer you take with your bowling adjustments on a particular surface. One. And getting that length fuller. As we're seeing now from Romario Shepard, Alzari Joseph. More easy pace. A lot easier going for the batters. So it would. Drawing the batter forward. A play and a miss. Go, go, go. Good little passage of play for the West Indies, Ian Bishop. Nice a practice, and certainly from a West Indian perspective in Port of Spain, those who went to practice in India as well, so adjusting to the surface, almost immediate with his lack of bounce. Two, three, five for three. To the National Stadium in Ghana beyond. The first T20 I hear for that Ireland series. I think he might have gotten home. And finally getting rewarded for two wonderful seasons, one of IPL cricket, but excellent domestic form. I might have been just short. Or have lost any of his control. Just look at that. That is a thing of beauty. When a wrist spinner is able to do that, it's a sight to behold. Bounce and turn. Perfect length, perfect line. The Brown Lara Cricket Academy in ODIs. And a good end to a good over in the three games. Ball boy. He too has grown. And it's an opportunity for West Indies to look at these two and to continue to rebuild. As you mentioned, I think it's going to inform the Indian spinners for later on. Excellent from Gurukesh Moti. Oh, yeah. Give other players an opportunity, fringe players an opportunity, and not just focus on results at this time. It might have been the temptation, Bishop, playing both of them with the series on the line. 
In his opening spell, looking for swing, not finding too much. Just in his length, thereafter. Good start, leading edge, looking to work that one through the onside, Hardik. She hope in the back of the wicket is keen. And with all of that, he still is able to find the gap, Hardik Pandya. Maybe perhaps a predictable length, Hardik Pandya waiting on that type of delivery, Casey Carty, desperate and despairing dive. Good shot, good positive stroke, powerful stroke from Hardik. But from this end, you're hitting with the wind. Tremendous from Hardik Panya. A boundary of the last ball of the previous over, now a six, and India know with wickets in hand. They've got to try to shift through the gears a bit. Yeah, too full. Hardy Pandya is very, very strong down the ground. So in the hitting arc, in the slot really from Yannick Carrier, 89 meter hit almost coming towards us. We'll run through for a quick single. 66 runs in the three games against Australia at home when India went down. So I say that to suggest that he requires assistance from the senior players in this West Indian side. His vice captain, Carl Mayers. Be a bonus run. Just adds to the collection of clumsiness and errors in the field from the West Indies today in stark contrast to what we saw a couple of days back in Barbados. Up against it, the application, the run scoring by India, just applying more pressure on the West Indies as a collective. It's made up for it to a degree. It's good work from Mayors. Stifle appeal by Captain Shea Hope. That will be wide. Yeah, it's a field uh, with protection predominantly on the onside for Hardik Pandya. Everyone inside the circle in front of square. That's all Hardik Pandya needs to do, therefore. No one back, helps himself to another boundary. That brings up the 50 of the partnership. There was a 69 run partnership between Gill and Samson. Now these two, still managing to have tempo to the innings. There you are. Come on. Well, they've tried him at four. There's a man back for that. So it's good bowling this from Jaden Seals. Will be safe. Yeah, that was Shepard a while back. Whoa. He's bowling well at the moment. What a shot! Imperious from Pandya. A ferocious strike from the Indian captain. So smooth, so committed when he's on the go. I've seen this time and time again in T20 cricket now. Here. In the 48 over, he'll be expecting to do a lot more. It was all power on that shot. Swatted away and all the way. 
growing as a captain seeing more and more of him with the ball but with the bat he is destructive a genuine six hitter and he's done it on this occasion using pace flicking all the way for six with and against the wind Good response. Push for two. And it's a 50 that stands out for India's standing captain. Long on is straight. It's only really be a single. Yeah, he's turned it around well, Hardik Pandya. That is six in typical Pandya fashion. Roars with this one over cover. Didn't try to get forward. He wanted to get under the ball. You can tell what uh, Romario Shepard was trying to do. He was searching for that Yorker. Defensive though, outside the line of the stumps, but he pays a heavy price. Another variation from Shepard. Now, how far is that? Splits the field. One bounce four. And they are getting the finish they needed from their captain of the day. It's something that white ball cricketers in the modern game do very well. They find the boundaries with ease. They pick the gaps. They know their spots. So precise with stroke play and boundary hitting skills. Lovely to watch from Hardik Pandya. High, long, brilliant. What a strike. Pick the slower delivery and the swing coming at the right time. Went aerial and with power. Boundary striking at its very best from Pandya. That is good. Straight on the ground. Good work by Longon. We'll have a boundary check of the final ball. It won't stop India from getting past 350. Ardik Pandya is already walking off. Seals might have done very well here. Taps the ball back. It's whether or not the ball made contact with the advertising cushion. Gets his leg over the line and taps it for the second time. Looks good to me. Yeah, TV umpire might just want to have a look at it from this angle. The players are going to walk off. India have posted a mammoth first inning score. I think he's done exceedingly well, fast bowler. So it will be two of the final ball, 18 of the final over, as India post 351.